friends and followers, Steve here with eXp Realty. In today's video segment, we are going to be touching base on the market report for January 2021. So stick around for the next couple of minutes as we see what numbers the market has produced for that month. All right, so yes, as always, thanks for tuning in, checking out the videos. Steve here with eXp Realty. As always, if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest information for Ocala and Marion County and the real estate there within, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. So yes, uh, the market report for January 2021. Now with the new year comes new opportunities and uh, let's see how uh, January, the first month of the new year, generated the, the numbers versus that of uh, the last month in 2020, December. Jumping right into things, we'll start off with closed sales. Now, closed sales, we did see fall short ever so slightly, uh, coming in at 482 versus December 641, um, which is a uh, still a bit of a decrease from uh, January of 2020, where we saw 504 single family residential homes for sale. Average sale price we did see um, on the up though, coming in at uh, $255,000 versus December's 242. Sales volume as a whole, we did see fall significantly coming in at $122 million versus December's $155 million. Average time to contract, we did see uh, jump a day shorter, uh, averaging 21 days from listing the home to getting a contract and on it versus December's 22 days and average percent of original list price received, we did see remain constant at 98%. Jumping over to the inventory side of things, we are gonna take a look at pending sales. Now we did see a, a significant more uh, pending sales for single family homes in the area, coming in at 745 in the month of January versus December's 530. New listings we did also see up as well, coming in at 686 active new listings on the market, versus December's 506. And active inventory as a whole, uh, we did see fall short coming in at 1,046 residential homes versus December's 1,142, which is still a 54% decrease of uh, January 2020 uh, of homes in the market. The uh, month supply of inventory uh, that we did see in January uh, came in at 1.9 versus December's 2.0, uh, which again, that month supply of inventory kind of determines uh, the balance of the market with the 5.5 being the even benchmark favoring neither buyers or sellers. So as you can see, I mean, it is still a uh, seller's market. Uh, you know, any homes that are going out there are getting scooped up quick. Uh, in addition to that, we are seeing uh, many of these homes as they come onto the market, uh, multiple offers, highest and best. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have also seen uh, some of the insurance rates rise just a tad um, with uh, different various things going on in the marketplace. Nonetheless, I mean, there is a great opportunity, whatever side of the fence that you are on, as long as you have a trusted real estate advisor guiding you along the way. Well, there you have it, my friends. That is the market report for January of 2021. As always, stay up to date with this information as well as anything else here in the area. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, checking out the videos. We'll catch you guys on the next.